happening to me. There's something awakening in my mind. I can't control it. What did you see? There's a crusade coming. Do you often dream things that happen just as you dream them? Yes. You don't need us to tell you that you nailed it. We love the film. It's such a Thank great you. thing. And, you know, I got to talk to you on, uh, in, I guess it was Cannes Festival uh, before this. And you told me that you were actually inspired by this story. So I guess you had your own vision on how the characters and everything looked like. And how hard was it for you to maybe cut ties with the with the idea you had in your head from what you read and what you saw before and just to create a, something entirely new? But the, the idea was to focus on the book, to go back to the book, to, to be in close contact with the spirit of the book. And I said to the crew, forget about everything, what has been done before. Uh, the way to get out of this alive will be to, to go back to the words and to stay as slow as possible to the description, uh, to try our, to do our best to bring Frank Herbert to the screen. Uh, uh, and uh, um, it was like uh, uh, an obsession. Uh, I, the book stayed with me through the whole process. The book is still with me today. It's like uh, uh, um, trying to bring its poetry uh, and to respect uh, what it was saying about our reality and, and to uh, embrace his vision, Frank Herbert's vision of the world. It was like, a, an obsession. So it's like uh, it was the the way to uh, try to uh, go back. To, uh, I mean, to to by staying in contact with the source material was a, 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 a way to try to get rid of the other influences and to inspire ourselves directly to, to to nature. The book uh, has been made through uh, was inspired by observations of science science scientific experiment uh, on ec ecological scientific experiment so it was like a coming from observation of nature and uh, I insisted that everything about the design about the costume design about everything uh, will, will have been to be in direct relationship with uh, nature the test is simple remove your hand from the box and you die What's in the box? Pain. You inherit too much power. You have proven you can rule yourself. Now you must learn to rule others. Something none of your ancestors learned. My father rules an entire planet. He's losing it. We're very curious about what was your first reaction when you got the surreal news that you were gonna actually make this movie? But the, the, um, I vividly remember meeting uh, uh, Mary Parent, who is the, the head of a, of a legendary, the production company who had, had gotten the rights. And we met very briefly. It was very a very beautiful meeting where uh, technically I uh, came in her office and we look at each other and say, shall we, let's do this together, and we shook hands, and that was it. Uh, uh, um, I, um, she was looking for a director, I was dreaming to do it. We were, uh, uh, she had the, the best reputation in the business, and I, I, I was, uh, she wanted to work with me, so it was like a very spontaneous um, uh, decision. Now, until that moment, it was just like, I was just driven by the appetite of finally be able to fulfill this desire to bring Dune to the screen the way I wanted it to be. But uh, I remember walking outside our office and going outside, walking in, in the gardens of uh, the legendary outside and, and calling my wife and suddenly feeling a massive pressure on my shoulders saying, whoa, I think I'm gonna do Dune. <laughs> and then feeling the pressure. That moment I, I, I felt uh, astronomical weight on my shoulder and uh, after that I, I, I focused and, uh, and meditated enough to remove the weight and just focus on uh, what I had to do. Arrakis is a death trap. Kill them. This is an extermination. They're picking my family off one by one. Let's fight like demons. When did you discover that sci-fi 
was indeed your thing. What drove you to focus on exploring it? When I was uh, again very young, uh, this is a very personal story. The uh, one day, uh, an aunt of me, uh, someone I, I really love and that I thought was a very inspiring woman, came back home with three cardboard cardboard boxes, and she said those boxes were meant to go to the trash. Uh, a friend of mine wanted to throw them away, but I, I kept them for you, and these boxes are for you. And then uh, I opened the boxes and they were filled with uh, um, sci-fi magazines, uh, uh, um, filled with uh, um, graphic novels from Europe. Um, Metal uh, Hurlant uh, or uh, uh, Pilote or, uh, or Tintin, they were like uh, um, filled with stories, sci-fi stories written by the best uh, graphic novelists of, of the time and, and uh, uh, graphic artists like uh, uh, Druyer, Bilal, Moebius, Mezière, and, 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 and tons of geniuses from the 70s. And I think I, I, it totally blew my mind. I mean, I was trauma it was a traumatic event. It was so much power in those boxes. Changed my life. I became obsessed with sci-fi, with the power of sci-fi with the exploration of the unknown, with the, the, the way they were using sci-fi to explore reality uh, in a very dynamic way, being able to uh, approach very difficult topics, very difficult subjects, very abrasive subject in a very playful way. And, and uh, it was like something that uh, I totally captured my, my mind and the, my youth. And, uh, and uh, that's why I think that uh, I was so sensitive to a movie like Star Wars when it came out to, 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 to the screen. I was like the perfect target audience. And then, then it was, that was, the, that was it, I was glued. An animal caught in a trap will gnaw off its own leg to escape. What will you do? I know you. One day, the legend will be born. All of civilization depends on it. The future, I can see it.